The vaccination clinics at the Mobile and Daphne Civic Centers are both a step forward, but what's the plan beyond that? NBC 15's James Gordon talks to health officials on the prospect of widespread vaccinations at local pharmacies and why that's not available all across Alabama. James? Well, the state health department says that pharmacies have always been a part of the rollout plan for vaccines across Alabama, only it may not be in your neighborhood just yet. Pharmacies offer a convenience and perhaps the best chance to reach the public. State health officials say pharmacies are currently among the 240 vaccine providers in Alabama, but not all have the freezers and refrigeration that's required to follow the cold chain for the vaccine. But we have to make sure uh, that if they are perhaps not uh, giving vaccine that's frozen, but rather just vaccine that's been refrigerated, you know, they have to have the capacity to store the product that is frozen because both products right now require freezing capability. What the pharmacy chains have learned from administering flu shots and COVID-19 testing will help them get doses out quickly as states move into new phases. Seem like maybe the pharmacy in Mobile or in, or in you know, Spanish Fort, Alabama doesn't have the, 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 the capability to freeze the vaccine. Is that why we're not seeing it? Well, again, uh, yes, the capability for any individual pharmacy may vary, and I really can't speak to those entities. It would have been nice if we had a federal system that had been designed uh, that everybody could use that would be, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For now, seniors and first responders who want the vaccine will have to take advantage of the plan that's available now, calling the hotline or getting to a mass vaccination clinic. Stanley Urban and his wife Diane follow it all closely online and make it a point to share information with other seniors who may not be connected. We see that a lot because we wind up telling other people what we had found out. Otherwise, they would have never known. And coming up at 6, a look at the newest vaccine, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, that could be a game changer for all of us. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.